you know, I don't understand. What's wrong with people? People are trying to take this Kanika Jenkins situation and profit off it, acting like this is a joke. I mean, the family is trying to figure out and find out concretely what happened to their daughter and people playing games. Yesterday, you have a random activist that has no relation to the family who wants to sit up here and grandstand and get his photo op and go and going to do the quote unquote definition of fake news and be out there talking about he's seen a videotape that doesn't exist. Well, what's wrong with him? What is wrong with him? This is making the whole situation look bad. It's already bad enough that there's still sketchy things going on and nobody knows concretely fact from fiction because of stuff like this. He gonna go out there and make up a fake story and misrepresent the family for a payday? Is he kidding me? Is he kidding me? And then even still after this, there's still more questions that I have after this. You know, uh, this case is very interesting. You know, it's leaving more questions than answers because my thing is this. Is that if the hotel has all these security cameras, why wasn't anyone who uh, who's operating the security cameras looking down uh, at, at the little monitors and saying, yo, we have somebody on that floor that doesn't look right. Let's send 10-4 down there and go see what's wrong. Because you best believe in the casino that they watching everybody like hawks. And if something even went wrong uh, and there was somebody trying to, like, you know, swindle uh, swindle one of the workers or something was going on, you best believe that all the security monitors would have been down there and that person would have been thrown out for trying to cheat the house because, as always, the house always wins. So in this situation with the hotel, nobody was up watching the cameras. They What are people getting paid a salary for? Were they out the lunch? Were they on a date? I mean, come on. If there's security cameras, nobody's watching the monitor and nobody can see a supposed drunk girl going into a freezer on all the floors. Nobody nobody can see this, is what I'm saying. And and you know what and another thing that I don't understand is that the cops themselves don't seem to really care too tough in solving this case. Because even their stories have been wishy washy. First they claim they seen this, then they claim they didn't see it. Now they claim that there's whole videotapes and all of this stuff. Well, how come nothing's being released? How come nobody knows what's going on? I mean, the only the, the only new thing we found out was that we have an activist grandstanding. That's the only thing we found out. We still don't know nothing about the friends. And then all we know is that there was that, like a part two of the videotape that shows the girl alive. But something still shifty went on. Because like I was saying, how does no security cameras pick this stuff up? And then there was no worker. Not one worker spotted this person. Uh, you know, walking and staggering and all of this stuff. Something is still not right here. I don't believe... That they want this case solved. This is basically textbook definition of a cover up. And my thing is why? What's what's the end goal of this? What is the end goal? Why are they trying to cover this up? I mean, first the police don't know information. Uh, people seem to be out to lunch um, during the, on uh, uh, the security seems to be out on lunch. Nobody's watching monitors. Then nobody sees this girl. No hotel worker. No staff. No anybody uh, sees this person. Then the hotel themselves is trying to kick the parent. No, it's trying to kick. The family off of the property. Something, something's not right here. And just like I said last time, somebody is gonna reap what they sow because I know, and everybody who's thinking and questioning and putting things together knows that someone knows something and somebody's not speaking. But mark my words, somebody is gonna pay.